Hello, ladies and gents. I am the Rev. Welcome on back to more Metro Exodus Sam story. And we have got to leave this place now and head over and try and get some suits. Already got my weapons all cleaned up, ready to go. So we've got to reset traps on our way out. Oh, can't go out that way. We gotta go. Nikavonia <sighs> Toma. This way, maybe? Nope. Let's keep going. This way. There we go. Good. Nice. Now, if I remember correctly... Ed, Sam here. One trap rearmed. Yeah, we gotta go over here. Great. Four more left. Uh oh. I thought there'd be goodies in here. I was not expecting him, though. If you get lost in this area at all, always look right there. See that? Uh, that yellow stuff? It tells you where to go. I know I've gotten confused a couple of times here. Ooh, Molotov. Those will cause some problems. I'm sure I'll make some mistakes with those. I usually do. Later. All the supplies we can get. We're gonna need it once we start getting a little bit more ammo. I thought there was a guy standing there. Knock, knock. Okay. Before we go that way, let's go down through this little thing. Oop, music. Take that. Okay, this I could definitely use. You get someplace semi safe. If I can, I'll try and sh uh, do some of the music stuff, which is fun. Nice. Oh, sounds like. Death warmed over outside. Oh, okay. Just in case you miss something, in case we miss one, and I gotta come back and fix it. something in there. Oh, before we go that way. Is there anything in here? Yeah. A few supplies. Hmm, nothing down there. Got the second one. Three left.
All right, so there's one that needs to go there. Well, let's make sure we get whatever stuff back here first. Oh, nope, that looks like the way we're going now. <clears throat> so. Third trap armed. Two left. Okay. I really like these rounds just for this kind of stuff. Those guys, it makes it so much easier to take those things out because these guys can be regular bullet sponges. Oh, guess there was stuff there. Looks like it's got stuff in it. <laughs> oh, there we go. This is why one of the reasons why. We... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, that I can put on right now, which is going to be a better sight. Then my little handgun really needs it here. Ooh, work. Keep that. There we go. Sure, none of these things open. All right. Oh. Nope. Oh. Okay. Still got two traps left. I just hope there wasn't one on that other side I missed. Nyadurna. I don't think there's a bunch of crap in here. Just one trap left now. Ooh, what is this? Sniper rifle? Yep. No, those doors never opened anything. This way, just to be safe. Okay. Nope, they didn't have anything. Okay, I wasn't sure. That sounds like there's a bunch of stuff down below. All right, so this one you want to make sure you... See if I can jump over this one again. Ed, it's Sam again. Sogotovo. All traps rearmed. Spasiva, Sam. You're a savior. Can't go up that way. Pajarista, Ed.
Alrighty, folks. Sorry about that weird edit there. Um, figured, found a few things. If you come over here. There's a landmine right there. This stuff is mine now. Yeah. We'll get on that boat in a second here. But over here... If I remember correctly, there might be some fun. Ah, <laughs> oh, crap. That's not fun. There he is, boys! The fucker that killed course. You're going to pay for killing our pal, you bitch! Come and get it! I wonder if anyone's coming to avenge these jokers. A lot of smoke for nobody. Oh, there they are. Okay. Get over here. Get out of here. Who's left? You fucker! Who's this, you bitch? Guys, we're getting fucking drunk! <sighs> Catch a bullet, you motherfucker! Well, this thing would track a little better. Got the fucker pinned! Oh, but he can get me, huh? Okay. There. We go get ammo. Supplies more than anything else. Yeah, I think we come through right there in the boat and then we go over there, maybe? I think that's where we go next. So, let's go get in the boat. Sound died out. Because we stood for each other. All we had to do was change those out. Nothing else. I just don't hurt your family. Is it so hard? Apparently it is. He had to do it. He had to. Ooh, would you want to fish there? I would not. Traitor. Fucking his own brother over just like that. Then everything Wait, went. What? Who are you? Did he send you? He, my so-called brother. He couldn't get me to give up, so he sends a hitman. I'm no hitman. You, you're not? Well, sorry for jumping to conclusion. It's my brother's fault. I wouldn't put it past him. It's because of him I'm hiding in this dump, eating overgrown lice. Oh, shut up, you damn beast! Can't wait to be roasted! Shut up! Piece of shit! Just like that brother of mine. He wants to take my car dealership. Well, my share in it. Car dealership? The Kovshinov brothers. Right to drive. What? Haven't you heard of it? You must be new in town. Everybody knows us. We deal in used cars from Japan. Quality ones. Twitchy SOB. We started from scratch, against all odds. But once we get the business going, that bastard decided to fuck me over. I arrived at the office one day, and there's a new guard. And he won't let me in. He took all I had. Some brother he is. Angela, our accountant, was right. I should never have trusted him. Never. 
he brought it all down. Destroyed it all. Um, but the war. Ah, who cares? My brother fucked me over. Don't you see? <laughs> but I have a plan. You need to get inside our dealership. Get the incorporation documents from the safe box and bring them to me. Then I'll have proof. I'm not going to let him die a beggar, of course. He's a brother, after all. I'm not like him. But I will pull his poison teeth out. I will. Will you help me? No. You just need to get that bastard, my brother, to spill his half of the code. We only knew half each to show it was our joint effort. We were stupid. I was stupid. Only Angela knew the whole code. Get his half of the code. Open the safe box and bring me the documents. You will do it, won't you? Look, my half of the code is this. One, two, three, four. Huh. What? Ah, no matter. Go, go now. I will wait for you here. Oh, we'll show that bastard. We'll show him. Now you'll see. Oh, now you'll oh, see. Oh, I so you want will. to shoot this dude. <laughs> But you know, the dealership is mine. what's funny is that shows the delusional relationship people have with reality when really bad things happen. <laughs> and we're seeing real good examples of that in society right now with the whole thing. You all know what I'm talking about. I've been locked up now six weeks and I am going cray cray. Up here. Oh, it's a ladder to get from that side over here. Oh, okay. Would have missed that if I wouldn't have took the boat. Okay, so we're heading over there, I think. Yeah, there's another piece of gear over here. Not so fast. I have a topic to discuss. And this place seems to fit the bill. No extra ears around. Ha! I feel trouble a brewing. What did I do wrong? <laughs> Nothing wrong. The boys and I took a good look at you. You are smart, level-headed. We need people like you. I hear people. Still, you're new here and you don't know much. So we decided to talk to you. Just give you something to think about at leisure. I'm fine with thinking. So what do you got? Look. There's Cat, our top boss. I think you know what kind of a man he is already. There's also Clem. You're working directly under, so you know him even better. Having any of those two as your enemy is bad news. They don't just yeah, dare I got it. Cross them. What? How did you? Who the hell are you? Name's Sam. I'm working for Tom. Ah, I know you. I saw you there. So, you are second American, huh? Ah, I heard you were supposed to be around. Well, come here. We'll show you what's what. We aren't called scouts for nothing after all. So, okay. first of all, beware of the bat wing roaming about. We haven't seen it, just heard it. And judging by its shouts, it's huge and angry as hell. Probably it's wounded. Thanks. I'll keep that in mind. Next, where did you need to go? To the fire depot. You can see it from here. The red building with the tower. It's about half a click from here as the crow flies. Right. Is that you it? don't look like a crow. It's close, but it's gonna be hard to get there. <laughs> yeah, crows have it easy in these parts. Look, okay, so that unfinished building from before the war. You need to go through it. That's the only way to the upper bog where the fire depot is right now. There's a gang that set up shop there, though. They used to do some slave trade. But lately they switched to the latest thing and started catching those human-like mutants. Can you imagine that? We've been at odds with them since forever. And anyway, they never liked strangers. They're sure to open fire as soon as they see you. Don't expect a warning. So, yep. try to remain unseen. Thank you. I will. What else have we got here? 
Ah, here, look this way now. See that two-storied tower-like building on that islet? It used to be a police post before the war. Now it's taken over by a gang, too. Complete mad lads. Though they're busy catching the fuglies now, like the others. That business is on the rise over here, Jeez. you know? What they have there is a warehouse of sorts. So there should be some good loot there. Is that what he's talking about? Well, I can tell you right <laughs> here, this island right here. Supposedly houses a cache of sorts. There's a, a bunch of back, stuff in there. A so new we'll gang go check that out too. Down. Those were some crazy bastards. But they were good. They went and demanded tributes from gangs thrice their numbers and murdered everyone who didn't pay up. They had training, spitznats like. They also had gear, like in the movies, armor, guns. Each of them had night vision too. <laughs> they had a good run. Ended up controlling a huge swath of the ruins, even with their numbers. Then the other gangs decided they had enough. Got together and smashed them completely. So all that remains of them today are their caches marked by their sign. A skull wearing night vision goggles. So watch out for those. Why? I bet all those places were looted long ago. I wouldn't be so sure. Those guys were real show-offs. Each of their caches is like a puzzle box. The chosen ones in the know are supposed to get it, while random Joes like us are not. Hmm. Huh. The boys did find hidden buttons opening doors a couple of times, but all through sheer luck. They never got the principle. Perhaps you'll get it after looking at the situation with your unbiased American eye. <laughs> I know what he's talking about. I might. About. You forgot the Fuglies. Ah, yes. Watch out on that islet with the cash. The Fuglies are especially large and tough there. I have no idea why, and I don't care. But these large ones are in demand, so the hunters don't clear them out. They just catch a couple from time to time and leave the rest to repopulate. Got it. So that's about it. We've been told to observe and render assistance if needed. We told you what we know. That should count. Thanks, guys. Go. Cool. Good luck. Thank you. See ya. Hasta luego. Hold on. Gimme. We can carry more ammo. That's the only reason I wanted to come over here. Okay, so we... At this point, you got uh, a couple of different choices. If you go that way, that is towards the giant bat wing. And then you basically, you fight the monster there and then you get and you work over to this area right here. Or, and the whole reason to do this is because there is gear. The areas we were looking out of over here, right? That place and that place. We'll do those. We'll clear those in the next episode because they both of those have gear. But something to keep in mind: there is nasty stuff down here. So if you're gonna go over to the area I am, you're gonna want hot rounds, baby. Alrighty, folks. So now some of the other things I'm gonna be having up on the channel. Of course, I've got a couple more of the, or at least. Well, I don't know. I'm depends on the order I put these out, but uh, a couple more of the Stave K2 Juggernaut edition. Uh, the last of the storylines. Um, one video I take a couple. Uh, one of the one of the walls down. Basically, it's um, me against where. I mean, you really need four people for these missions. Um, two to four people, and I just go and I do them by myself. But I lost the very last one that I did, and it took a bunch of resources, and it would take hours and hours and hours and hours to fix. So, I probably won't do it. But I still got two more, and I'll give you guys an idea on how to do it, so you can finish off the game if you're playing along with me. And as always, I'll have more new stuff. Going to have some cool survival stuff coming up, too, so make sure you stay tuned. As always, I'm The Rev. Thank you for joining me. I will see you real damn soon so keep your heads down your guns up and i'll see you again real damn soon